Hey guys, Road Warrior back here. I recently uh, was fishing, just uh, free fishing in between comps today on my live stream. And uh, normally there's my setup, and I usually clip my. Uh, a lot of times I'll clip my Texas rig or Carolina rig down, but I was just kind of in between. I was kind of thinking, I used to back in the day, uh, not only do I like the deep runner, but I used to use shad back in the day on 10 O's. But what trouble would be if you hooked into a common and or a trophy bull shark, what would happen to you on a Carolina rig? Obviously, they don't make a titanium rig. Uh, either three-way Carolina or Texas. I think you fall along. What would usually happen? You'd be stuck with the 8-0. Uh, but I used to try farming these, and I have to do it in an awkward way of uh, not using a bullet sinker, that sort of thing. But it's a whole other conversation in itself. But nonetheless, I wanted to test these out because I knew the new fighting mechanism. Uh, for whatever reason, it's just a lot stronger. So I'm thinking to come test these out, just killing some time uh, going into the next comp. Nonetheless, I was having trouble kind of locating the water depth, so I used Old Faithful here. Uh, just to kind of see where the shark were at on this particular peak. Because sometimes it will vary. I've mentioned that a lot in the past. Uh, kind of knowing where your strike zone is. And anybody that's watching my shark guides, that sort of thing. So I was able to determine here uh, that they were at the upper uh, upper water column or that upper one third with the deep runner real quick. But the moral of the story is uh, I went ahead and switched over from the Club Series uh, 6 inch shad to the Club Series Glow Shad uh, 6 inch on the offset on a Texas rig, trim, trim down the leader down to uh, 17 inches. It does give you a little more <laughs> flexibility. Uh, and also as well, if, if you're looking for a lure guide or something like that, uh, or lure tips, you can look around on my channel. I do have an entire playlist on rigs, that sort of thing, crankbaits, all kinds of stuff. But nonetheless, uh, I'm definitely satisfied here uh, with the results. Uh, number two, uh, not only the results of the, the offset 10 that I liked in the past, but like I said, I usually get a big shark uh, and I would get bit off, so I kind of framed away from it. But nonetheless, this is something I think you should try out, but in the upcoming clip, you'll, you'll kind of see why and, and what happens. But nonetheless, you know, I did two click down. This is a setup if in the event that you guys are wanting to test this out for yourself uh, and see what kind of luck you had here. But again, previously up until that last update, I hadn't really tested this out. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, I don't know if you'll be able to duplicate this time and time again, but it's something you might want to try out and something that you'll get a kick out of. Uh, again, coming up here, I'm going on to another spot, sticking with the uh, Club Series Glow uh, glow Shad, the uh, the 6 inch. And sure enough, as you can see, I did this on live stream, and I was even shocked uh, at the size of the shark I caught here. But nonetheless, I determined they're kind of on the upper water column. I talk about that a lot. Uh, but again, just kind of figuring out where they're at. I am just kind of doing a reel and twitch or a reel and smash, is what I usually like to call it, knowing that the. They're about in that, you know, one third, uh, just below the surface there. Nonetheless, I was even shocked on live stream to see how big this shark is. But I wanted to post this up to, you know, anybody that's looking to come out and try this. Again, I am two click down with four line with a Texas rig trimmed at 17 inches, 10 offset number 10 O uh, here at the Amazon. But anybody that enjoys shark fishing, I would encourage you to go out there and try this out. Now, again, you could get bit off, but I did not. And then here's the proof of it. Uh, nonetheless, you know, this, I want to say, not to brag, but I have fished a ton of sh for shark way before uh, the Congo had opened. I do enjoy the Amazon, I think, even more so than the Congo. For any of you Amazon lovers that love to fish for shark, maybe give this a try out. Uh, see how it works out for you, but uh, much to my amazement, a 440-pound shark uh, came up and hit this. Again, this is probably, I just fished for about, you know, 15, 20 minutes, uh, killing time in between two competitions today on the live stream. I hope this helps you guys out, and there's just a quick review of the net. Uh, take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.